we now come down to the basic tools in here. Of course, there's a basic section down below where you can make these different adjustments. Let me bring it back up again. There we go. You can make these adjustments in here. We also have all this available up here as tools and some other stuff as well. Now, each one of these has its own little drop down menu. Click on the crop overlay first and bring it in. There's a little drop down menu for the crop overlay. For over here on the spot removal, click on that one. It has its own little drop down menu as you can see. Okay, let's just go through each one of these. The crop overlay allows you to crop into a picture. You see right there, I have a crop tool available. I could come in and decide what I want to have in here, click and drag, and I could come in and crop the picture down to that section. I could move the picture around inside that crop if I wanted to just be real specific, just grab it and move it around a little bit like that. I can adjust the angle if I need to. So you have angle adjustment in there as well. Notice how the crop box adjusts so that you don't get any outside blank spots. If it needs to squeeze in a little bit, it will squeeze in a little bit to make sure that you're not getting any blank areas in your picture. There are also some standard, you know, some standard sizes here, 1 by 1, 4 by 5, or 8 by 10, 8 and a half by 11, 5 by 7. So you can crop right into your standard settings in here, standard sizes as well. So I want to do a 4 by 5 crop. I can just do it just like that and then move the picture around to best fill that 4x5 crop. You can reset that right here. Click on Reset or if you just close, it will then keep those settings. So I'll just click on Reset and go back to our original position and then we'll close that down. Set your crop overlay. Next we have the Spot Removal. Kind of a neat tool. You have two options, Clone and Heal. We're on Heal right now. I'll click on clone. Say I want to clone this spot right there. And then I'll grab it and I'll put that spot. You see, kind of see there's a little circle right there. I'm going to put that right down over that, that spot. Just like that. And that then clones the spot from here and places it right down there. So it comes in and copies and then pastes right on the picture. And it's really easy to use. As you can see, you can move the initial position around. Notice on it right where the arrow is pointing. As I move this around, I'm seeing what I'm copying into that spot. So you can use this to find exactly the right spot. Let me just go up here to the yellow line. You can see that right there. So you can use it to find a spot which blends in real nicely. Now the clone has a kind of a hard edge. It's, it's, it's an exact match. So you need to have a good match on your area. Let's just reset that. Other option is heal. And the heel goes through and tries to modify and adjust the spot to match the area around here. So it's a little better tool for this kind of covering up. So I'm going to click here. And let me just drag that right over onto that section. And when you do that, it tries to modify that section to match the surrounding pixels. So it blends it in. And so I'll come in here a bit a bit bright like that. Now once I let go, watch how that darkens down, adjusts to try to match the values in the area around and makes for a much better match or healing of that section. And if I close, it then closes away. You can see how that one little spot now is totally gone and it's a real nice tool for this kind of cleanup or spot removal. And that's right there. The next one is red eye. This one's pretty easy. It's just a real simple you take this and you click and drag from the center of an eye that has red eye in it or click to use the current size. Just click right, right in the middle of the red eye. I don't have any red eye here. What it does is it takes anything that's red and converts that to black and just kind of fades it in as black. And it gets a, does a good job of removing red eye on a picture. Next over is a graduated filter. And you can come in here and set all kinds of specifics for your filter. You can look at this at your shadows, clarity, saturation, sharpness, lots of stuff that you can use on your graduated filter. Now the way this works is when you click in your picture using the graduated filter, where you click it'll be full value and then click and drag and it'll fade out to your dragged spot. Let's say I wanted to brighten up the shadows down here. Maybe I can 
you know bring up my temperature a little bit warm it up a little bit and let's just change our shadows a little bit here in the exposure a little bit I can then click and drag like that and you can see how it is making this graduated filter and as I drag it actually pulls that that setting in along. Now I'm keeping the mouse button held down so you can see this. If you go to the left it will slant it. If you go to the right it'll slant a little bit. But it's a real nice way to come in and just do some little adjustments like this. I'll put just kind of put straight up. There we go. Now once I'm there I can come in and then adjust that setting. If I go real bright you can see how how that worked. It's where I clicked down but down here was full value and then as I dragged up it fades out to where I let go so it creates a little filter in there based upon these settings and adjusts the picture based upon those different settings and again after you have it you can go back in here and you can come in and modify that any way you want to to get just the look that you want it's a real cool little tool kind of a graduated you know graduated filter but a graduated filter with all kinds of different image adjustments I'll just click on reset and reset that back to the standard setting. There we go. The final one of the tools up here is the adjustment brush. And this works, all these settings work just like the graduated filter, but in this case, I'm going to be painting in an adjustment as opposed to putting in a graduated filter. So I can come in here, I can paint in an area like that. So I just painted that in there, just kind of dragged it along like a paintbrush. And I could then come in and using my controls, I can adjust that setting very specifically. Let's just reset that. Let's say I wanted to lighten up this area in here in the plane. I'll come in here and I'll just kind of drag in like that. And then I'll adjust my exposure a little bit. And playing around with the different settings I can lighten up the, just that one little specific section make it a little cooler I think there we go so you know with a little bit of experimentation you can use this to come in and then place adjustments just in specific spots inside of your picture Again, you're just painting in a control area and then using the adjustments here to adjust the controls or the adjustments for that area. And you have quite a few of those as you can see here. And at the bottom, you can change your brush size. A little example, there's a brush size. You can go larger or smaller on the brush size. You can control how much feathering it has. The, the, the closer that outer circle is to the inner circle, the the harder the edge is going to be to that, the further out it is, the softer the edge will be. You can adjust your flow rate on how fast it's applied and density and so forth. So there you go. There is how to use the final tool here, which is the adjustment brush. One of your best tools actually when you're going in and cleaning up pictures is that adjustment brush tool. I would recommend spending some time in here playing with this one. Now once you've finished up one adjustment, you can click on new and then come in and do a new setting someplace else. Notice I still have a little marker here for my previous setting. If I just kind of hold my mouse over there for a second, it shows me the area that I was that I adjusted right there. If I let go, I can come down here. Let's say I want to do something across the bottom just like that. And that gives me a new adjustment area. I can still go back and look at that one. There it is. And this is my new adjustment area down here. I can adjust my exposure in this area. So I'm going to be just a little lighter in there. There we go. Just a, just a hint lighter. So that's my new area. Click on New again. I now have two adjustment areas. Again, just kind of hover over that button. There's my first one. Hover over this. That's the second one. I can go back and I can readjust this. Just click on that and that puts you back into that adjustment mode and I can then readjust that. So you can do several of these adjustment areas in one picture. Those dots will only show while you're inside the tool, of course. 
Let me just click on reset and I'll put that back to its setting. So there you go. That's a look at these basic tools up here, your basic editing tools.